Oh, well, there you go. I've now got a, an active sensitive like you have on the buggy, so now pick this up. I have, well, it's new, so it's got new oil in there. But now I've got an active disc, so the other one. The other one, I actually took the spur off, so. I went from standard diff, which is a fixed diff, to an adjustable slip diff, which, here, here it is. You see the state of it? Can't exactly see that, but see it? It's absolutely rounded off. Um, there might be a bit of life left on there, but I don't like knocking. That's now got a. If you look there now, a brand new diff in there, and I'm having trouble with this 1 8 conversion that I did. It seems to be a bit too much on the thread, so I'm going to have to design a new thread to go on that. And then hopefully I can have the adjustability, and also I want to put the cover back on because it's just the way I am, I like to be safe. Anyway, there you go. Um, I'll show you what it's like when it's finished. Right, as you can tell, I've got it all in there now. I've had to do some modifications here. I've had to use the Dremel to cut it out. So this is a 1.8 can on a 110 system, and believe me, it's changed the characteristics of this 100 pound car. So literally, I'm gonna go and give it a little bit of a test now to see if I can get it to run better. But now it's got an active diff in the center. Should that be a little bit more like a buggy, not too much like, um, you know, just a normal, Rubber one. I actually had a slip diff, but it I'd, I can never use them. And I'd rather have an active diff and let the diff sort itself out. A um, few issues with this. This is cross, so I've had to put a nut in there, tighten it up. It's a bit of a fiddly job. Um, if I come to sell it, I'll replace all this board here. Um, but I might just run the 180 electric speed controller and put a castle creation in there so that'll be even smaller but just twice as fast but i get some running videos of it but everything's back to normal now so passing rc take it and right i took it out no problem here it's not even getting them cold warm um we're spinning out a little bit here so i'm gonna have to mess around with the shocks a little bit i think um it keeps powering so I'm going to have to do some work on these but I'm using the actual HPI flux truck um, Maxis and they're alright but this was running really well and this is my old Beetle shell that I got off Paul when I, I bought the original Slash but people are getting all mad because literally there's the Slash there this is going to have the helium which believe it or not this helium one fits straight on it's got the holes already marked which shows it's a copy so that'll be going on to this. I haven't even started on that yet. Um, my 1.8 ER4 is just sitting there. I need new tyres for it. I want, I want a set of sand block. What would you call them? Snow blocks. And I want a set of um, HPI. I think they're like staggers or something. Like they're really grippy. This is me T2. T2 needs to be used. Um, I haven't used it. I've put. <laughs> I've put <coughs> Castle in there and everything, it's just not getting used. I even got this new radio gear, not been used. Until I find the track that benefits me using that, I'm just going to keep it there. Um, this is me TAO1 is it, or 2, Tamiya. You get the holiday buggy, this is my take on the holiday buggy. Put them on the back just for a bit of fun. Um, this is me Z BZ. I've got to keep, you've got to do the conversion yet, I'll put that there. So, still doing that up, I've done nothing, but these are all going to be projects for this year, so. Um, this needs a lot doing to it, but just needs a battery to run the lights, the lights have all added, so I might remove this completely and put a sticker over the top and just leave it as it is because I want to use this for a crawler eventually, so. Um, somebody asked me how the crawler is. He's there. He's fine. He's not 
really do anything. The dog's not been fed for a while, so he's most probably shit in there. Um, yeah, I haven't used it. I'm looking forward to going out this year with Terry and doing some runs. And that's it, really. So, more on this one. This is a Helium Domius 10SC, but now it's known as a 10SC um, D, which means deluxe. There's a deluxe one now. And I'm going to do the HPI mud flap conversion for the black. That should be quite an interesting. The bumper broke on the front. I actually have a new one here. I've never took it out of the bag. Um, you can see it in there. It's cost me three pounds to replace the front bumper, so I'm going to send this to a fabricator and see if you can make me a metal version. So I'll be the first one to have a metal version on there. So I actually quite like the mechanics of this car. I know people say, oh, it's a bit crap and fair enough but you get what you pay for but when we take this off we've now got a sensor active diff instead of a locked or a limited slip diff we've got electrics waterproof i'm now running one eight um track star one eight electronic speed controller i don't know what it is i think it's a toro 80 amp um i'm using the maximus maxis um um hpr racing which got a good grip on them because I'm off a donor car which I've got to rebuild and get that up on sale um, had a bit of a bump on the front on the car park so I've had to do some modifications but you can't really tell um, so literally this originally was there so I've moved that and put it over the servo some people say you shouldn't do that because it causes friction in there and interference but I've put a a power cap on to boost the power up which gives me a bit more on the inside um, problems is this is a sensor motor on a senseless electronic speed controller so I get a lot of twitching but I can live with it because it's not going to be doing runs like that it's just for going on the beach and that um, that's it really place is a bit of a mess because we've had the, the flood but we're back anyway so passing RC and there'll be more on this so that's the Helium Domius Bye-bye.